Hi everyone, I hope 2019 is going great for you so far. In this video I want to share with you some exciting news. The new album Gate of Heaven is complete. It's recorded, edited, mixed and mastered and it will be released a little bit later this year in celebration of the 200th anniversary of the birth of the Bab, who is a figure who is deeply cherished by the Baha'i community as the forerunner of Baha'u'llah. He was born 200 years ago in 1819 and he really devoted his life to preparing the way for Baha'u'llah's teachings to come into the world. And so throughout this year, the Baha'i community is really inviting the world to, to learn more about the Bab and to celebrate his life and work. And so Gate of Heaven, as an album, is really a, a musical contribution to this, this year of, of celebration. And I'm back in Portland now, I'm hanging out in the studio, and this whole process of, of making this album has really been this extraordinary adventure, along with my, my producer Kelly and with all the, the musicians who have come here to, to work on the album with us. It's been an extraordinary adventure of, of learning more about who the Bab was and, and, and what he taught, because I've essentially spent this last year... Uh, singing the words of the Bab for the new songs on this album in this in this studio. And it's uh, it's really been an amazing opportunity to dive into the writings of the Bab and learn more about his story. Uh, and I think, you know, the Bab is is a, is a person who is often, for, for many people, myself included, the Bab has, has often felt shrouded in a certain degree of mystery. And personally, when I started first learning about the Baha'i faith, I think I had, probably understandably, I had a kind of simplistic notion of what the role of the Bab had been. Uh, I thought of him as simply as a, a person who, who, for a short time, was calling out to people to prepare themselves for the coming of Baha'u'llah. But through this process uh, of working on this album, I've really come to understand that the the, the scope of that preparation was just enormous. It was so enormous that the Bab himself was, in fact, the founder of an entirely distinct religion, uh, distinct from Islam and Christianity and Judaism, and even in, in, in many respects, distinct from the Baha'i faith itself. And even though the whole purpose of the Bab's religion was to prepare the way for this next great figure that he, he always referred to as uh, he whom God will make manifest. Uh, and so for that reason, it was actually a very short-lived religion of less than 20 years. But in spite of this, it, 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 it brought with it all of the, the things that uh, a world religion brings. The Bab wrote his own sacred scriptures. He introduced new spiritual practices. He established a new calendar. And in, in, in the day-to-day -day life of the, the people who followed the Bab's religion, the, the, the Bab's goal was, to, was always to orient people towards spirituality, which he defined in a very beautiful and simple way, simply as a path of love and compassion, not of force and coercion. And by, by orienting people on this path of love and compassion, the Bab, he seemed to always want to, to, um, to teach people to, to look at life and, and themselves and each other, not through the outward material surface appearances of things, but to look at life through what he referred to as the eye of the heart. And if they could learn to, to look at life with the eye of their heart, they would, they would develop uh, new, untapped capacities for deeper levels of understanding and perception. And by developing those capacities, they would be enabled to understand and recognize when he whom God will make manifest would appear. And of course, in 1863, when Baha'u'llah declared that he was the one who the Bab had prepared the way for, the purpose of the Bab's religion was fulfilled and, of course, Baha'u'llah then introduced a new set of teachings which could be spread out into the wider world and could be used by people of different backgrounds to, 
to, to, to build world peace from the ground up. But in that transition, Baha'u'llah actually carried over certain elements of the Bab's religion into the Baha'i faith. Uh, and one of those elements was uh, the Bab's calendar. Uh, you know, every faith has brought with it a, a new calendar, which, which brings a sense of a new beginning, a, a renewal, a, 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 the, the beginning of a new chapter of humanity's spiritual history as it unfolds. And the Bab's calendar consists of of 19 months, of 19 days each, plus four or five extra days, depending on the leap year. But what's really beautiful about the Bab's calendar is that each month is named after a particular spiritual quality, which we all uh, have the potential to develop within ourselves. So you have the month of mercy, you have the month of justice, you have the month of honor, uh, and so you can see how even in the Bab's calendar, there was this effect of constantly orienting people's thoughts towards the cultivation of their, of their spiritual lives. And so on March 2nd this year, which is a date I've been, I've been sharing with you on social media, on March 2nd this year, a new month of the Bab's calendar will begin. And that is the month of loftiness. And the month of loftiness is also the month in which the Bab and Baha'u'llah uh, prescribed a fast for people to do. Uh, so, so, so during this period of fasting, uh, for a period of 19 days, you, you abstain from food and drink uh, between sunrise and sunset for a period of 19 days. But the, the deeper purpose of this physical fast is really to, to deliberately take some time each year to focus on the cultivation of our of our spiritual lives, to to take some time to think about forming good habits, to develop our self discipline, to to become more self aware, to to uh, to also to to develop more empathy for those who have less, and just overall to to consciously take time each year to reflect on where we're at. In, along this the journey of life. And so on March 2nd, as the month of loftiness begins, I'm going to release the first song from Gate of Heaven. It's a song called Promised One, and it's based on the words of the Bab, and I will tell you a little bit more about that in the next video. But in the meantime, if you're not already on my email list, I want to invite you to go to lukeslot.com uh, where you can sign up for my mailing list and that way you'll you'll get updates about when I'm releasing uh, more music and videos. And also I've just created a, a Facebook event called Gate of Heaven Album Release. And this event page will be the hub where I will be posting the new songs from the album over the coming weeks and months. I'll be posting more videos like this. Uh, please look up the event and just click going and you can also share it with your friends if you're inclined you, you can actually invite people to come to the event and you'll find all the the uh, the videos and songs appearing on that page uh, last but not least major major thanks to everybody who supported the kickstarter campaign back in 2016 which was so abundantly supported that it led to the the, the making of both year of the nightingale and also this new album, Gate of Heaven. Uh, huge thanks also to all my patrons for your ongoing support on Patreon. Uh, as Baha'u'llah said, results depend upon means, and none of this would be possible without your support. So this whole project has really has really been a, 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 a collaborative community uh, artistic uh, effort. And uh, really, I have felt so honored um, to, to, have, to have been enabled by your support to, to work on this music and I can't wait to share the new album with you. Promised One will be out on March 2nd. So join the mailing list and uh, look up the uh, Gate of Heaven album release Facebook event and I will see you in the next video. Thanks! <laughs>